How long do you think it takes to create a stylized waterfall in Blender 4? Hours? Minutes? Actually now you can do it in seconds with a 3D Tutor Stylized Waterfall Geometry Node. Welcome everyone, it's Neil here from 3D Tutor, back today with another Geometry Node. And this one took a lot of work, but we finally got it working the way we want it to. What's more, just like all the other Geometry Nodes, we look for three things that they must have not just for you guys downloading them, but also we want to actually use them as well in our courses, our own models and scenes. So what are the three things we look for? First is versatility. Are these easy to change depending on the scene or the project? The next one is ease of use. Is the geometry node set up in a way that makes it simple to use for anyone, whether you're a beginner or seasoned pro? And finally, is it useful? There's no point having geometry node where it can only be used on a full moon on one day of the year and only then if you're a dwarf from a Tolkien fantasy. No, we want them to be used across many projects and scenes and to be honest the more the better. So with all that said, we never release a geometry node unless it meets these three points. But let's now take a look at these amazing waterfalls created in seconds. So once you've downloaded the file, this is what you will be greeted with. So this is our demo file. When you press spacebar, you'll see all of the rivers actually move and all of them have different colors. So let's jump right in first. And first of all, we'll look at the actual color of the waterfall. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna to come to uh, this one I'm going to come over then and then come to the waterfall. So if I open up the waterfall, you'll see that on the waterfall, we have all of these color options. The main one being the, the main bulk of the waterfall, this one being the sides and this one being the foam. So all you can simply do is just come in and change it to whatever color you actually want, something like that. You can also change the foam on these parts here. So you can actually come in and you can change the color of your fog. So we can change that like so. So you've got a lot of control, first of all, over the color of the waterfall. Now, how do we actually create a waterfall? Well, the first thing I'm gonna do is just gonna close these up just so I've got a nice clean viewport. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna hover over the top of here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in a spline. So I'm gonna bring in a curve, Bezier, and bring my curve, let's press shift space bar, I'm bringing the move tool. Let's move my curve over here somewhere, just so it's over here. And then what I'm going to do is just to make this a little bit easier, I'm gonna actually uh, press uh, tab, press A, grab everything, pull it out. And then what I'm going to do is add a modifier, geometry node, bring it down, I'm gonna bring in a waterfall, and it's as simple as that. So any spline you can actually do with this. Now the best thing is you can also press uh, seven to go over the top, and what we can do is we can also draw in our waterfall. So if I come in and draw it in, you can see that we can actually draw in our waterfall. Now, how do we do the bottom bits? I don't recommend uh, with the drop-offs that you actually draw that in. What I recommend you do is come back to your spline or your curve, you press E and Z and pull it down. And then you can see it's as simple as that. Now let's uh, draw this out going the other way. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna press E and I'm just going to pull it out like so, E, pull it out, E, pull it out like so, and there we go, we've got a waterfall. As soon as we press spacebar then, you'll see everything's moving really nicely, really speeds up as we get down to this point. Now what I would do is actually come in then and actually um, bring these out, so just turn them a little bit, just to, let's turn that off, make it a little bit easier, just turn them a little bit, just to kind of straighten these up so we ain't got any breaking in the mesh or anything like that. Now we've got our waterfall then, that's how we can draw it out. We can either use the curves or we can actually draw them out. Now what we want to do is we want to bring in some splashes. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to my curve and I'm going to come over to the uh, right hand side and all I'm going to do then is add in another modifier. So add geometry node and then we're going to click the down arrow and we're going to click splashes. And now you can see, because these are both, I'm actually going to delete this one because it's making it a little bit confusing. So let's delete that one out of the way. So here is our first splash. And then what we can do is we can actually position it wherever we want. So let's position it right down here, right down at the bottom. So we can position it down here like so. So that's our first splash then. If we press spacebar now, you'll see that's actually really nice and working. We can also then change the width of the... Uh, of the fog on there so now you can see that's all working we can also mess around then with all of these things like we can change the volume we can change the height of it we can change the uh, spread of it literally all of these options you're able to change from the color to the height to how fast it actually moves so pretty much everything on there 
Now let's say we want to add a, another splash in here. So let's bring in another one. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my waterfall. Let's put that up. Add modifier geometry node. Click the little down arrow. And we're going to bring in uh, splashes. And now let's move those to the top of there. So all I'm going to do is change the position. Move them over to the top of here. Like so. And there we go. And then all I need to do is just change up the width. And there we go. I've got my actual particles there. And I can move my particles as well into position if I want to, like so. All right, so now that's looking good and everything. And then finally, I'm actually going to take that off now and show you the last thing, which if you actually have a rock on here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in, grab the top of here, press Shift S to put my cursor there, and then I'm going to bring in a rock now. So Shift A, let's just bring in an imaginary UV sphere that is supposed to be a rock. So we'll bring that in. And then what I'll do is I'll pull it down into my actual waterfall. Let's also make this uh, color of a rock. So we'll just give it a nice color. So a nice gray color like so. And let's, of course, auto smooth it. So now for the best bit, what we can actually do now is grab this rock that we've created. And you can do this with any mesh. It doesn't matter what it is. I'm just going to duplicate it. So Shift D, let's duplicate it. Right click to drop it back in place. Add in a geometry node. Click the little down arrow, click waterfall, and you'll end up with the blue one. And then what I'm going to do now is add in another geometry node. And this time we're going to go for the splashes, like so. And you will see that you've got some blue highlight in there. All you need to do is just click off this where it says plane, and there we go. Now what I can do is I can press S and Z, shrink it down, put it on top of my rock, like so. And there you go. Now you've actually uh, got the ability to put any kind of rocks in here have the water look as though it's crashing down on them. And you can see how easy that is to use. And you can add this on pretty much anything. So if you just bring in, let's say, uh, another curve. So what this time we'll bring in a path. We'll bring our path out here. We'll make it bigger like so. And then what we'll do is we'll just come in now and add in a modifier, geometry node, bring in our waterfall. And then to make this actual smaller, so let's make it smaller in the middle. We're just gonna press Alt and S. And we can see we have control over the actual waterfall in this way. And then simply all we can do is just bring out more of it by extruding like so. All right, everyone. So you can see really, really simple to use. Highly versatile. You can see we can bring in as many splashes as we want. We can see that we can add rocks and then have splashes coming off those as well. But the main thing we wanted to achieve is ease of use. And you can see here just how easy this is to use as well. Because we're 3D artists at 3D Tudor, we want to make things that we're going to use and are, more importantly, are very easy and versatile to use. So if you like the video, give us a like. Drop us a comment down below or what node you would like to see next. And if you want to get your hands on the waterfall, then the links are going to be down below. All right, everyone. So I hope you enjoyed that. See you on the next one. Happy modeling. Cheers.